over 14 and a half kilograms, aka 32 pounds of Swiss food. Thank you, Switzerland. Thank you, Mr. Steven. This is gonna be crazy. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is gonna be the craziest candy treat day we've ever had in our lives. And let's dig into it. Sometimes you guys really outdo yourselves. Specifically, Mr. Steven from Switzerland. Mr. Steven from Switzerland sent us a 14 kilogram box of goodies. Literally, check this out. There you go. Literally over 14 and a half kilograms of goodies. And I don't even know what's in this thing or where we should start with it. This box is monstrous and it's just awesome. So first off, huge thank you Steven, all the way from Switzerland, sending this awesome box of stuff. But to that, I guess we might as well get into it and uh, let's see what's in this monstrous box of Switzerland goodies. So this could take a little bit. All right, so this thing is just packed full of stuff. Look at this, like literally to the brim. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be crazy. So let's just start pulling some stuff out. I'll go through it all and then we'll try to eat it. So first we have Waves Chips Inferno. These look very spicy, they have a little devil on them. We have Triangles Paprika. These look delicious, kind of look like another chip thing. By the way, like this is written in like Swedish, so I can't actually really read, like only some of these things have English on them. We have some burr, burr liner, burr liner. Looks like some kind of baked good. It feels quite hard, kind of crispy. Wow, this is cool. We have some, I don't even know what these are. But look, they have a face. They look like a strawberry kind of jelly tart sandwich thing. The name of it's something like Spitzboob. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but I tried. Swiss style fondue cheese sauce. So like a dipping sauce for fondue. Paprika original chips. I'm assuming paprika is the flavor. I'm not sure though, looks good. Sport fresh bonbons. So candies of some sort. Um, it says rich in vitamin C. It's, although it's like, you know, in Swedish, but I can make it out. It says rich in vitamin C. Okay, so some sport fresh. I hope those are like mitts or something. Protein pudding. Dope. It does say 20 grams of protein and low carb on it. No sugar at it. So at least part of it is, at least part of this packaging is, is English. Okay, this is crazy how much stuff is in here. Steven, you really outdid yourself. This is amazing. Here we have, it appears to be kind of like a fruitcake of some sort. It says chocolate on it. I want to say it's chocolate hazelnut and I'm judging that based on there being a chocolate and a hazelnut on the package. But that looks good. This thing's freaking heavy. This is at least a pound by itself. Here we got uh, for when, when throat hurts. That's awesome. We have some classies. Uh, they look like, like cough drops. Probably some kind of like Enai's or some kind of berry cough drop. So that's awesome. So that's, Steven, you're looking after me in my times of health and sickness. A, looks like a mini pie. Mini pie of some sort. Here we have, ooh, this looks good. Chocolate and mousse. And Swiss, and Switzerland is definitely known for its famous chocolate. Hot chocolate mix. Here we have a Protein drink, Choco Mountain Milk Protein. Okay, hey, this is crazy, there's so much stuff in here. This is amazing. Okay, we have a uh, blueberry pie, that one's in English. Farmer Soft Chalk Tourist. So they're literally made for me, tourist. Um, um, granola bars, so this looks like a chocolate covered granola bar with some nuts and seeds. Uh, mild chili, looks like some kind of a corn chip. Uh, cola frogs. So little cola candies taste like frogs, they are hard. 70% chili chocolate bar, looks delicious. I'm running out of room. This stuff's piling up here. 
some biscottis. And it says, must drink cold. Drink for Swiss people. Okay, so here we have a Rivella. A drink for Swiss people that you must drink cold. So I'm gonna go put this into the uh, freezer there as soon as we're done unpacking. We have some toffees. Ooh, these are amazing. We get these in Canada and in North America and these are one of my favorite uh, chocolates actually. All natura cocos. So it looks like uh, a coconut bar. Coconut is one of my favorite foods. Good choices, Steven. And holy jump, it's all this stuff. Here we have some baby kisses. Maybe chocolate covered cherries or something. Kellogg's Tresor Break. I've never seen this before. This is definitely cool. I'm imagining it's like a hazelnut filling inside, which sounds delicious. I love chocolate and hazelnut. Great flavor combination. Smarties. Hey, you guys have Smarties in Switzerland? That's so cool. Because we also have uh, Nestle Smarties like this in Canada. However, they don't in the United States. So they're like, uh, they're kind of like an M&M. Okay, here's a message for the, uh, the protein pudding. It just fell off in the protein drink. Um, here's some more of the uh, Swiss, or the cheese fondue. We have some, uh, it looks like chocolate covered cookies. It says prune on it. So it's some kind of fruit of some sort, some kind of sweet thing. Oh, my bag popped open. Dude, it smells delicious. Baked good of some sort. It says, uh, Shen Kelly, Shen Kelly. Here we have what looks to be uh, some kind of chocolate or cocoa covered almonds, candy coated almonds. I love all of these items so far, great choices. Raffello, these are kind of like, we have these, uh, we can get these in North America too, but they, they have a different name. Um, they're kind of like a, they're like a coconut covered, I don't know, kind of hazelnut candy chocolate of some sort. They're kind of like a uh, Ferrero Rocher, but coconut. Steven, you totally outdid yourself, man. This is so amazing. I don't even know what to do. Like, this is so much stuff. Almond Naki or Nochi. Looks like a sweet of some sort. Uh, looks like to be another pie of some sort, like a raspberry pie. Uh, chips. I'm gonna have to like stack all this up and get an epic picture. This is crazy. Here we have some sesame crackers. Here we have some Kinder Eggs. I love Kinder Eggs. Kinder Eggs are one of my favorite all-time chocolates. That Kinder chocolate is so good. Here we have some delicious looking truffles. Here we have a Kinder chocolate called a Country. Damn, this looks good. It kind of looks like a Milka, maybe with some kind of nuts or something in it. Uh, Turkish Delight, hey. Here is some Bak Lava. Turkey, Turkey Delight, Turkish Delight. I've never had something like that before. Oh, it looks like it leaked a little bit. It's saucy. I hope it's supposed to be saucy. It looks good though. Yeah, hopefully all this stuff is, you know, good in the, like okay in the mail and everything. There's still more stuff, oh my gosh. Watermelon flavored iced teas. Steven, I can't, this is amazing, man. Here you have some assorted looking uh, Toblerone chocolates, one of my favorite chocolates again. Uh, Spruso bonbons, party mix. They look like a chewy fruit candy of some sort. Kinder Choco bonbons. I love these, these are delicious. Uh, love hearts. Caramels of some sort, rom caramels. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And we have so many chocolate bars. Here we have some fray. It looks like, like extra milk chocolate or something like that. Some kind of white or milk chocolate. Chorus bar. So it looks like there's like nuts and raisins and almonds and stuff in it. Something called a rosletto, which looks delicious. Uh, look, kind of looks like a crunchy bar. A classic branches, which are like a hazelnut. Looks like a hazelnut. I want to say chocolate of some sort. Oh, the box broke up, but it's called a Munz. It says, my favorite. It looks like it's a white chocolate, I wanna say hazelnut bar of some sort. This is freaking ridiculous. Here we have Kellogg's Tresor. Oh, is this like cereal? Man, I think this is a box of cereal. It's, I think it's squished, but dope. Yeah, it's totally cereal. Cause there's a bowl on the side, see the cereal bowl? So Tresor, Kellogg's, Hazelnut looking fill and cereal, a mix of all three. That looks delicious. I'm super excited for that. Trolley all in one. This is a one kilogram bag of all different kinds of gummy candies and other candies and all this stuff. We have 
over 30 pounds of Swiss food right here. And we're gonna get into it and we're gonna eat it. I'm gonna try to take a thumbnail and then we're gonna start eating all this delicious Swiss food. All right, everyone, so let's get started. You know, tis the season for treats, sweets, and all of these nice, beautiful, tasty things. Well, today I basically get to eat all of Switzerland. So I'm super excited for that. Um, we're just gonna dig in, just gonna try these things as we go and let's have some fun. Um, so this already burst open, this pack. So let's try these prune candy chocolate things. They look good. A little bit of star. Oh! I just like marshmallows. Um, maybe not, but it's very soft. Really nice and light tasting. Very soft. Fluffy. I get a little bit of a fruit taste from them. That's delicious. Let's try this chocolate hazelnut bar. Looks good. Not as sweet as I would have expected. It is good though. Yeah, though this this bar is really good. It's delicious. It's it's kind of like I call it kind of grainy. It seems very wholesome. There's some nuts in it. Just look at it. I don't know under what circumstances you would eat this, but it's really good. It'd be a nice like piece of breakfast. I'm definitely getting more hazelnut now. Let's try one of these. Face looking cookie tart things. Oh no, he broke. How cute. Very flaky. Very sugary. It's like sugar coat up. No shortage of sweet things there. Coconut bar. I love coconut, one of my favorites. It's interesting. It's like little, little squares. And that's exactly what it tastes like. Sweetened coconut in a bar. Perfect. Simplicity at its best. Try one of these pies. A pie? I'm not really sure what that is. Some kind of nut? Maybe like a pecan? It's good. Let's try Berlinger. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be as rock hard as there, but they're rock hard. Oh, actually it's it's moldy. Moldy. I have a feeling these were like donuts, but they're rock hard right now. And a little moldy. So I think we're gonna we're gonna skip that one. I would love to try it though. Some biscottis. Nice and light and flaky. Very crunchy. I for sure. It's good. I'll try these things. Again, I hope they're meant to be rock hard and are not moldy. We'll have to double check. They smell interesting. They don't seem moldy. They are rock hard though. Let's try it. I mean, it tastes different. I don't know if it's supposed to taste like this, but it almost tastes like a little lemony, like a little sour. Very interesting. Let's try some kisses, baby kisses. Oh. 
not melted. It's like marshmallow. It's like a jet puff. Tasty. Very sweet. Very tasty. Have some chocolate covered almonds. I like the chocolate almonds. They're unique. They're like kind of powdered chocolate though. Not like a solid coating. They're good. I like chocolate covered almonds. I can feel my sugar, my blood sugar rising already. Let's try a Kit Kat Country. Not Kit Kat Kinder, Kinder Country. This looks delicious. So Kit Kat Country, it's like, or Kinder, Kinder Country. It's really different. So it has buckwheat in it, like puffed wheat. It gives you a very like, almost not sweet taste. I'm used to Kinder being very sweet, but these are surprisingly not very sweet. Like I said, the, the puffed wheat in it makes it taste really like, just grainy, like, and not grainy as in texture, but like, it tastes like puffed wheat cereal and like a sweet cream. Let's have some toffees. These I've had before. These are delicious. I really love these. So these I'll try, but I'm gonna savor them. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're like caramel and chocolate and like hazelnut. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. It's like really chewy caramel. Mm. So good. So good. Let's have some of the Raffellos. I've had these before too. These are absolutely delicious. They're like coconut, kind of like a coconut frere rocher. I didn't know these all came from Switzerland. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Crunchy, creamy, coconut. Delicious. I'm very sweet. Like, very. Let's try one of these tourist bars. It's like a chocolate with nuts and seeds, and all kinds of good stuff. It is very clearly made in Switzerland. Lots of Swiss flags on, on these chocolate bars. Looks like chocolate. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Chocolate, raisins, nuts, and it's very much a milk chocolate. Crumb in the park. Let's go. Let's try these thingy things. Rizzoletto. Looks like chocolates with uh, some like maybe crunchy chocolates. Oh yeah, like maybe like Rice Krispies or a Rice Crisp in a chocolate bar. Hmm. And it's like a. Um, how do you describe that? There's a nice filling to it. It's almost like a, like it's kind of nutty filling, but at the same time, it's not really nutty. I don't know. I like the taste though, very delicious. Almost like almond, but not almond, but really good texture. Would recommend. What's this is caramel filling. Yeah, caramel toffee, something like that. I say, yeah, toffee. All right, let's try these next chocolate bars. These look similar to <clears throat> the tourist ones we had. I tell you though, everybody show Steven in some love in the comments. This was amazing for him to send all of this. This is like, literally, I feel like I'm eating all of Switzerland. So it looks like to me, it's just something like extra milk right there. So I'm gonna assume this is either white chocolate or a very light milk chocolate. I think I'm gonna go for the latter. Yeah, so it is a, it is a milk chocolate. Mm. 
It looks, it's probably just like an extra light milk chocolate. There's a chocolate bar. Yeah, so I mean, it tastes like milk chocolate. It's good. Milk chocolate. How do you go wrong? Whew. I'm feeling that sugar, everybody. Let's try some candied almonds. Look like this. Candy cover almonds, nice, 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 well, lot, lot, lots of nice colors. Yeah, so Cody's, I like them. They kind of remind me of like a M&M &M or a Smarty, but instead of being chocolate, very sweet, it's almonds. I like that, would recommend. Let's try these guys. They look like little mini Toblerones, which I'm a big Toblerone fan, love all Toblerone items. Looks like there's a light, like a, a white, a milk, and a dark. White, dark, and milk, different colors. Let's try the dark first. It kind of looks like a Toblerone. Mm-hmm. Oh, this good. Yeah, it's like Tobro. Got a little nougat bits in it. That's a very dark chocolate. Quite surprised. Very dark. Here's a milk one. This looks like a Tobro. They do taste a little different than Tobro, though. I want to say Tobro is a little sweeter. Maybe. Different flavor. And then the white one. It tastes like a white chocolate Tobro. All right, let's try these things. Is this some kind of almond something? It says almond on it, but... I think I've seen something like this before, but I don't know what it is. It looks like almost like a little baked good. It's hard. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. It's like a... Like a... Let's look. It's soft. It's very sweet. Tastes like nutmeg. It's like an almond cookie. Hmm. Maybe it's not almond at all. Maybe that word's not supposed to be almond. It's like a no cheek. I like it though. Maybe it's supposed to be aromatic. It's like a spice cookie. Whatever they are, they're very good. But I don't know what they are, but they're really good. Definitely a buy. Let's try some Kinder Shuckle Bombs. So I've had these before, and these are absolutely delicious. One of my favorite Kinder items, a little chocolate egg with beautiful Kinder cream on the inside. Actually, these ones are a little different than the ones I've had in North America. These ones actually have little pieces of, I assume to be hazelnut in them. The ones I had were just like a pure cream. And if you look on the picture, there's little bits in there. Who would have known that Kinder it was different in Switzerland. Well, but let's try chocolate mousse. Holy sugar rush, I'll tell you that, everybody. Holy sugar rush. Have you ever tried any of these? And if you have, let me know down below what you think. So it looks like a square, chocolate square, with a little orb. A little orb. And then on the inside, is mousse. I was and like the mousse or the inside has a very cocoa flavor. Not as strong as I thought it would have been, but very soft but that's what the inside looks like. Almost looks like an arrow bar. It's good. Very chocolatey. Let's try some try some truffles. Looks like assorted truffles. Looks like there's a white one, a chocolate, like two chocolate ones, dark and a light, and a, a white one. That's exactly what's in there. Try this powdered one first. Oh, I took all the filling out with it. Oh, that one was a liquor, liqueur flavor. Direct hot, whoa. They all taste like liquor, like liqueur. 
That one is lit like liqueur too. I think the fan looks like. Oh, come on. That's what the fan looks like. I think that one tastes like liquor too. So who would have known that these chocolates taste like liquor? We definitely have liquor in them because they didn't taste yet. Let's try some sesame crackers. Maybe this isn't as sweet. Everything's it's good, but it's it's sweet. All right, got some sesame crackers here. I've definitely had something similar in North America. It tastes like sweat sesame, but it's very it is sweet. Not as sweet as chocolate, but I think it's like sugar coated sesame seeds. Very oh, good. What do you recommend? I'm really heating up. Woo! All right, let's try this. Looks like another kind of pie. <clears throat> I'm assuming it's raspberry because it looks like raspberry on it. Oh, it's all crumbly. I can go to plate for items like this that are all crumbly. Because I'm eating on a white tablecloth and let's just say it's no longer white. Ooh, it smells nice and spicy. Definitely a little squished. That's okay. I'm sure it'll taste good. It's surprisingly not that sweet. So that's what it looks like. A lot of nutmeg, a lot of winter spice, and some like jelly. Kind of tastes like a jam. Not bad. Napkins, that's something else I needed too. I'm gonna need no more sweets for the rest of the year or the whole new year. Oh boy. Woo. Let's try one of our soft choco tourists. Granola bars. So this tourist must be like a, again, it's either like a flavor, maybe it's just like known kind of chocolate bar, known mix. It's surprisingly thin, but it is definitely chocolate covered. Definitely a granola bar. Definitely some like nuts in it. I definitely taste it. It tastes very fruity. Maybe cranberries? Although my battery's dying, I need to hurry up. Not bad. I think that'd be a lot more like a snack than like a chocolate bar, like a sweet. Smarties. Said if you're not familiar with Smarties, we definitely have them in Canada. But they're like a, uh, a chocolate covered little rainbow candy. Kind of like an M&M, but it tastes like nested chocolate. Whoa! Okay. Oh, maybe that's why. They're called Smarties Minis. Because these are really small Smarties. These are like the size of mini M&Ms. Our Smarties are usually bigger and rounder. Tastes like Smarties. Nestle chocolate. Hard, crunchy candy shell. Hard to go wrong, definitely a buy. All right. Let's try the ROM caramel. At least look really good. I'm a big caramel fan, toffee fan. I like chewy. I like sweet. So it goes great together. Square caramels. Oh yeah. Oh. Caramel cream. On the back it says caramel with cream. So there's French on it, but not English. Oh yeah. Very soft. Like, look at this. It broke. Definitely a caramel cream. It's good. Holy sweet though. Gotta have a Kinder Egg. Kinder Surprise. For old time's sake. One of my all time favorite chocolates. Oh, this one's broken. So if you're not familiar with the Kinder Egg, it is a chocolate. All right, like I said, this is broken, but it's generally a uh, egg that's just a dark chocolate or a milk chocolate on the outside. Nice Kinder filling on the inside. Which tastes like a milka. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Definitely one of my favorite kind of chocolate bar things. And then you have the Kinder Surprise, or the, the toy on the inside. So the little ball in the Kinder Egg is like a, it's a little toy that you can build. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm starting to die. 
There's a lot of sugar. The toy won't close. All right, so kindred surprise. All right, I'm gonna try a chip instead. I'll try a mild chili multigrain snack. Maybe the multigrain will bring me back to health. So it looks like a, like a sun chip we have in North America. That's exactly what it tastes like. Really crunchy. It's light. Believe it or not, this is not sweet. It tastes like a potato chip, basically. Let's try some triangles. Ooh, they smell like bacon. Or something like that. It's called paprika. Shit, another triangle. Really interesting flavor. It's like a, I get a little bit of a spice. But it's like a, almost like a beef bouillon. It's good. I'm happy. All right, let's try some wavy Inferno chips. I'm expecting these are very spicy. Oh, uh, they smell like peppers. It's kind of like salsa. It's like a ruffled potato chip, like a crinkled potato chip. And it tastes like Taco Bell taco sauce. Yeah, there's a bit of heat. Ooh, it's building. Definitely a lot spicier than the other things. But not like an unedible spice. But yeah, it tastes identical to a Taco Bell taco, taco sauce that they give you. All right, we're pretty much through all the uh, chocolate items. I'll save Steven's favorite for last. Man, it made such a mess. So let's try these. The classic branches. So I don't know if it's the same in just different color wrapping or if they're all or they're different. But here's a red one. Ooh, actually those chips are spicy. Tastes it's in my mouth now, building up. Right, let's try a branch. Classic branches. So it looks like a little chocolate stick. This one's already broken with dark filling. It looks like hazelnut because hazelnut on the package. Oh wow. Oh, very soft. Not crunchy at all. A very soft hazelnut filling. Do you know what this is like? It reminds me of like a Frere Rocher, but just in a bar. That's what this is like. It's like a Frere Rocher. It's good. Definitely lots of hazelnut and chocolate hazelnut in the Swiss items. Um, here we go. Let's try a 70% dark Ecuador chili pepper chocolate. All right, this is way darker than the other chocolates we've had. Probably a nice change, because everything's very sweet. It's good, but it's sweet. Yeah. So 70% chocolate, very bitter compared to all the white chocolates or the milk chocolates I've been having. It's good though. I like, I like up to about a 70%. 80% sometimes, but right now, even a 70% is very dark and bitter because I've been eating so much milk chocolate I was very late. All right, so it's good. I'm not getting any of the chili pepper though. Maybe a little bit, only a little, a little bit. I do just have those really spicy chips though, so that might be in fact affecting it. That may be a little heat. All right, let's try some of these, party mix. These look like Laffy Taffy, or like first candies. So they're in different shapes. There's ones that are like this, in a stick. Ones that are in a, a strip. They're all different flavors. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one has uh, soda bottles on it, like Cola Pop. So this is definitely, I imagine, a cola flavored one. And it's white. It's kind of weird. Or it's kind of cool. Let's see a little cola bottle on there. So as soon as it tastes like Coke. Oh yeah. Oh. That's good. Definitely Coca-Cola. Very sure. This one's a strawberry flavor one. Oh, there's a strawberry on it. Kind of ripped them, but. Strawberry there in the corner. 
Maybe strawberry. I got it's white. It has a little red piece in it, but truly, hard to job my guys tired from all this. I'll try a yellow and a green one too. Whoa. And these ones that come in blocks. They're cutting the little pieces up. So sweet. And my jaw's tired. Let's try the love hearts. I've definitely had these before. I think we have these in North America. Sweethearts, love hearts. So like little uh, compressed sugar, kind of like dextrose tabs. I think in the States actually they call some like the Smarties. But they have little love messages on them. This one says, I don't know if you're gonna see, but this is sugar lips. I'm definitely sugar lips today. Yeah, so acidic, kind of fizzy, sugary. Yeah, sugar lips, or uh, love hearts. That's what I'm not. I tell you what though, Steven, seriously, man, you have given me so much stuff. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, like, Thank you so much for sending all this, it's super cool. All right, here we have a blueberry pie. Again, it's a little broken, but it smells like a blueberry pie. Looks like a blueberry pie. Tastes like blueberry pie. Tastes like a Nutri Valley uh, bar. Nutri Valley bar? Yeah, Nutri Valley. If we've ever had one of those. Or, is it Nutri Valley? Like a breakfast cereal bar. I'm waiting for a teleconference to start. So my phone's on. On speaker. While, and I'm going to continue to review. Because the sugar's hitting me and boy, I'm not going to last. I'm going to be freaking going to bed here shortly. So, but I might just stop spontaneously. Here we have some nature potato chips. Just tastes like a, tastes like a potato chip. Like a plain potato chip. Not very salty though. Our chips in North America, like our Lay's potato chips, are definitely saltier. I think it was this candy. I was instructed that I have to just not chew it, this hard candy. And magic and just like let it, let it do its thing. By the little bubbles on the bag, I'm gonna guess it's fizzy. Let's just put this in our mouth. And we won't chew it. Okay, yeah. So I'm starting to get to a, uh, it has a, a bubbly, fuzzy center, kind of like bar, but like a bicarbonate center. Fizzy. All right, here's the other kind of chip. Paprika, has a chili pepper on it. Or a jalapeno. Mm, it's really good. It's like a smoky, kind of like barbecue. I think it's supposed to be like smoky paprika though. It's tasty. It tasted like the, uh, tastes like the other paprika item we had earlier. Cold frog. All right, I'm on my call, but I just muted it. Wait, I guess I can talk normally if it's muted. Hope it's muted. Can you guys hear me? We're okay. We're waiting for somebody else to join. Here's a cola frog. Tastes delicious, tastes like a cola. Um, cola candy. Definitely on the sweeter side of the cola candies I've had though. All right, let's try a Sport Fresh bonbon with vitamin C. We need some damn vitamins after eating all this stuff, I'll tell you that much. Let's see what they're like. They don't really smell like anything, but they're green. Bright green. I'm assuming you're not supposed to chew them. I will find out for sure, but... It tastes like a cough drop. Yeah, like, it tastes like a cough drop. There's like a little, little bit of a mint or menthol in them. I'll try to suck on this one a little bit. I won't chew it. Too late. Yeah, like a... Like a mint menthol. I used to use being good while you're playing sports. Not bad. Yeah, it's like a cough drop. That's how I describe it. That's just kind of like that menthol. Pretty, pretty much of the items that aren't like, that don't have to be cooked. We have these, like don't have to be prepared otherwise. We have the these candies, and then our favorites here. 
So I'll try a few of the trolley items. I've definitely seen these some of these in North America. I'll try a couple of these. And then we're gonna try. Alright. <clears throat> Teleconference is over. Back to the trolley gummies. So here we have ones called Apple Pops. Hey, these are actually in English. I think they're supposed to be apple flavored. Yeah, I've definitely seen this brand of candy in North America, I think. Tastes like apples. These sour gummy worms are not in English. Maybe these aren't in English. Maybe just apple pop is written the same in both languages. We have a cola party. And that one looks in English. So imagine it's sort of cola flavored gummies. We have one called Happy Bears today. Mm. These cokes are really chewy. Happy Bears Day. I'll try this, it'll be the last one because where batteries is dying. Mm. Very fruity. Very gummy bow. Alright. Now, onto the Muns. Muns. Steven's favorite. Which looks a lot like the uh, the other chocolate bars we had. Um, but these ones look white chocolate on a light, lighter colored hazelnut inside. So here we go, white chocolate. Oh, wow. It tastes nothing like the other one. Actually here it says white praline bar. Maybe that's what it tastes like, pralines. Hazelnuts? I almost want to say peanut butter. It's very sweet. It's good. But it's very, very sweet. That's what it looks like. Whatever flavor it's supposed to be, it's really good. Hazelnut, praline, peanut. It's delicious. Well, everybody, I'm going to try it again pretty much. Oh! Almost everything that didn't require like preparation. I gotta try one of these. These look hella good. Kellogg's, I caught Tresor. Tresor, looks like again, like a hazelnut filled something. And once again, Steven, thank you for sending all this. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe the amount of stuff he sent. So it kind of looks like a Crave. If you've been in North America, we have these Crave cereals. It just looks like a big Crave. Whoa, very crunchy outside. Yeah, I need to chug a hazelnut filling. Oh, no, we got one more item. I almost put it all away. We have this, baklava, which is, I think, I think Steve referred to as Swedish Delight. It smells just very sweet. My camp, my battery is about to die though, so quickly take a piece. Hopefully this isn't bad. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. It's very sweet. It's like a dessert square, but everybody, the camera's gonna die. So first off, huge thanks to Steven. Thank you for sending all these items. Man, seriously, you rock. I think I got to taste all of Switzerland. You're amazing, thank you so much. Thank you everybody. I truly appreciate all your hospitality, your support. I'm so thankful for all of you. Appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, share with your friends. And that, I'm gonna wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy holiday season. Hopefully you get some nice sweet items like myself. And everybody, till next time, say happy holiday hungry. Don't eat this much sugar, I won't say. <sighs> and happy eating.